Hi, this is Mitch Mitchell, and I'm going to do this video in a, for a different reason than what I was going to. You know, earlier today, we heard about another cop who was caught on camera killing someone who got off. And, well, last week we had the other thing, and I did the video on that. And you know what? I, I just can't keep dealing with that. Uh, it keeps happening. You can only, you know, be outraged so many times. I hate to think that I'm getting numb to it, and I don't really think that's the case because I'm still sharing some stuff on Twitter, but I don't want another video on that. Don't need another video on that. Need to kind of go in a different direction. So my direction today is about trying to work toward being the best you can and taking care of yourself and being a little bit more positive. And it sometimes seems like it's a hard thing to do. Um, as this guy uh, who does these other videos who I've mentioned every once in a while, although I can't remember what he wants to be called right now, so I'm not going to mention his name. But if he watches it, he'll know <laughs> that I'm talking about him. You know, the world can be a terrible place. There's a lot of bad things that happen. And yet, last weekend, I went and saw the Madagascar Penguins. Or the Penguins of Madagascar, I think it was the name of the movie. And I had a lot of good times. I enjoyed it. I laughed a lot. And it does show this strange dichotomy that we have in the world where we have all these terrible things on one side and then we have these things that make us feel better on the other. And, you know, it makes you think, you know, right off the bat, what do I really want in my life? Do I want to deal with the bad stuff or do I want more of the happy stuff? And truthfully, I want more of the happy stuff. But here's the thing. You have to work to get the happy things. You, 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 it just takes a lot of work. Nobody can just walk through the day without drugs <laughs> and be happy all the time. It, it, it just doesn't happen unless you put some work behind it. Uh, truthfully, a lot of it takes money. Money, you know, people say money can't make you happy. Money makes you happier than being poor. Unless you're stupid or you got a mental disease, money makes you happier than being poor. At least you don't have to worry about paying bills. At least you don't have to worry about having a place to stay. You know, that starts it. But it's not only just money. You know, there are people who can, uh, you know, people who surf. Ain't going to be me, but it's people who surf and that makes them happy. There's people who do crochet and they take pictures and they play piano and all these other kinds of things and it makes them happy. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with uh, finding things that kind of make you laugh. Earlier today, uh, I kind of needed a little lift, and so I put on a thing, and I started watching videos of puppies and babies. I have mentioned a long time ago, I love videos of puppies, little, little puppies and babies. I just think, you know, those things are so cute. Yeah, those kittens, I don't trust those things most of the time. You know, that's just me. I think they scratch and stuff, and, you know, eh. I think cats are sneaky overall. But that's okay. Cats are allowed to be sneaky. You know, I'd rather go for the dogs. Dogs like to have a good time when they can. Even the mean ones like to kind of play, you know, just like big animals, which is really strange sometimes seeing elephants running around having fun and jumping in water and stuff. But you know what? Animals just want to have fun too. Everyone wants to have a little fun in their lives. We want that. But you don't just get it without some kind of work. Maybe if you're a little kid, you do because, well, okay, we're not expecting four to seven-year-olds to go out there working unless you're in Hollywood and you're taking care of the family by acting, you know. I'm sorry, you've just lost your childhood. But for everyone else, there's nothing wrong with going out and having a little bit of fun. I tell myself this all the time. You know, I think I probably beat myself up more than anyone else. I've never really learned how to relax. I don't sleep well. I can't sit in a chair without doing something. Uh, it's, it's sometimes hard, especially at home. I can go to the movie theater and watch a movie because I'm not in my own environment. Now I'm somewhere else. I can relax a little bit, say, well, I can't do anything until the movie's over, so I can rest. I can go to the casino, play some poker, and sit there for a while, and okay, it's not totally relaxing when someone's gone all in and you have three aces, but you see a pair down there and think, uh-oh, what if someone's got a full house on me? You just don't know. I'm not going to say that's relaxing, but that's fun. It is enjoyable. Even if you lose those hands, it's somewhat fun. You had time, you know, some fun for a good period of time. But that takes money. All that stuff, you know, it kind of takes money. And I, you know, try to tell people all the time, you know, you start with money. And then you go off from there. Money allows people to go climb mountains. 
Another stupid thing you're never going to see me do. But money allows that. Money allows you to go in the water with giant animals. Another stupid thing I'm not going to do. Uh, it allows you to take your motorcycle and jump it off of a building and onto a rope and stupid stuff. <laughs> No, I'm not doing any of that stupid stuff. It's, it's not going to happen in my life. I'm not even going to watch it because watching someone who might die at the last minute, that, that doesn't make me happy. I don't watch car racing because the last two car races I watched, 1974 and I think three or four years ago, someone died in the race. Can you believe that? Two car races, two deaths. Never watching car racing again. Don't want to see it. So... Uh, you know, those are sidetrack things. Uh, but it actually comes back to the whole thing. You know, what makes you happy? What makes you feel good? What can help you at least uh, get some perspective? Because, you know, you can't always work. I When I first went into business for myself back in 2001, I was working 16, 18 hour days. I was sleeping maybe three hours and getting right back to it. And I could do that back then. Right now, I'm older. I don't sleep well. You know, diabetes. Although... Here you go. Last week, I go to the doctor, and the doctor looks at my numbers, and the doctor looks at the weight, and the doctor is happy. My doctor smiled. I've never seen that woman smile in the last four years, and she smiled, and she said, I'm proud of you, and you've done really well. I never expected anything like this. She smiled at me, and I had to thank her for the MyFitnessPal thing. Yes, I'm mentioning that again, and the Fitbit thing, and I'm not going to show you that this time, although I could, uh, because... I, I really have. I, I'm working on that. I'm working on the health part because being healthy makes you happy. So, you know, I'm just saying this to everybody. You know, there's a lot of bad things that are kind of going on around us, and it's getting scarier, and the news is just getting worse and worse. And you know what? A lot of that stuff we can't change. But we, we, what we can change, or at least what we can you know, attempt to change, is ourselves, our situation. We can at least take a shot at that. And so I'm going to ask you guys to kind of join me on that venture. Let's try to find more positives. Let's try to find better ways that we can communicate with each other. Let's try to find better ways to make money, the money that we really want so that we can actually go out there and really be happy. And you know what? Creating stuff and selling it not only makes you happy, it makes everyone else happy too. I'm just saying. And I represent I'm just sharing.com. So take a look at my blog every once in a while. Maybe you'll like that. Who knows? Anyway, this is Mitch Mitchell. Y'all take care. Have a great day.